Hello and welcome again. And now that the, the contest that we've created is live, we need to connect it to our autoresponder and know about some more features in Soshi Contest, the ultimate version that you're getting a copy of. Now, this is the contest that I've created right here. And if you see all these buttons, we need to get to know them a little bit. This one is for editing. You can actually edit anything on the fly and the contest will be updated immediately without having to recreate it in any way. This one is for adding clients. This is if you're running a contest for a client and actually getting paid for creating a contest for them and you don't want to tell them that you're using Soshi Contest to create this contest for them, you can actually have your very own branded dashboard where your clients will be able to see and control everything in the contest with you without having to giving them the password of your Soshi Content account or uh, actually uh, adding them to this dashboard, which is yours. And we will have a dedicated video about this feature in the next lectures. Now for the preview, you, when you click here, you will see how your contest looks like. And for the autoresponder, you will uh, actually connect the autoresponder of your choice to your contest in order to add people uh, to your list when they sign up for your contest. And here you can actually have the Facebook share settings. This is great because you will actually, you can include a special text that people will automatically share when they share your contest on Facebook. And this one right here is for retargeting codes. If you use any retargeting in Facebook or in Google AdWords, you can add your codes right here. So you get a copy of the people who will visit this page. They will be stored in your custom audiences in Facebook and in Google AdWords as well. And here you can actually generate a script for this contest to add it to your own website or blog or maybe your client's blog or website as well. And right here you can see your entries and here you can actually share the contest. Once the contest is finished and you uh, want to know who are the people who won, you can come to uh, this icon right here that says contest winners. And if I click this right now, this is actually a previous uh, contest that I've created. When I click this button, because I, I wanted to have only three winners, the software went and got these highest numbers for me. These are the top three people who generated the most uh, amount, or the largest amount of points. And based on their points, the software told me that these are the winners. And these are the entries. You can actually take a snapshot of this image and post it to your Facebook page or website once your contest have finished. And you can contact these people by email, by taking their email from my subscribers uh, section and contacting them via email to give them their prize. Now, all I have left is to start sharing my contest in uh, on Facebook. I'm not going to run any paid ads for this. This is only for demonstration purposes. And I want to show you how powerful this is and how can you go virally without spending a dime on any paid ads. Of course, it will help if you already have an email list. I have a very micro size email list, but I'm going to send this contest to them. And if you uh, run your own mastermind group on Facebook, if you have a lot of friends on Facebook or a lot of followers on Twitter, of course, it will help. But also, if you're starting from scratch, you will see results if you post this to the most um, highly targeted uh, traffic places where your target audience actually hang out on Facebook or on Google Plus communities, for example, or uh, in forums, for example, the Warrior Forum is a good place to start. You can actually post this for free in there. So let me go to the autoresponder settings now and actually select either a webinar or an autoresponder. I'm going to select my Get Response account. And now the first name will show as name, the field name email will show as email, and then the HTML form code. I will go create a form inside of GetResponse and then get a code from GetResponse to actually paste it here. And then when I'm done, I'm going to hit save. And once this is done, uh, people will be actually added to my GetResponse list when they sign up for the contest and join it. 
So I'm going to go to do that now. And on the next lecture, we will see how, our go how we are going to share this around social media. And we will start to see the results. Thanks for watching.